All right, so we're hopping into a game here. I am recording this off stream. So hello, YouTube, and welcome to another game. We're playing a 1v1 off stream here. It's gonna be me playing as the French versus Nakamura RTS playing as the Delhi Sultanate. He's actually a pretty strong player, so um, should be a good game here. And uh, I'm gonna upload this straight to YouTube. All right, let's just uh, do the start here real quick. Very nice. All right, awesome. Just gonna be a little bit higher up, okay. Perfect. So this is uh, the map is called French Pass, and I'm not a huge fan of this map, but it's not a terrible one either. Um, uh, just the sides are like you know a little bit. Uh, uh, hello, YouTube. The sides are a little bit easier to wall um, than you know some of the other maps, but it's definitely uh, I think it's open enough to have some aggression. I'm gonna send these sheep back. It seems like a long way out, but I think they'll make it in time. Cause I want to go pretty far ahead of my scout real quick. And I'm going to go for a 2 tc approach here with the French, because uh, in my opinion, this is not an aggressive map necessarily. We're quite far away, so I think going for an eco approach is definitely the right way to, to play this out here. Um, I'm not really sure what the Delhi Sultanate are really good for, but um, I know the French are actually quite uh, quite flexible. Um, you can play either very, uh, very aggressively with the Royal Knights early, here come the sheep. Uh, or you can uh, just you know go for a bit more of a con economy play with two TCs and then you can play whatever you want afterwards pretty much. So I'm gonna take that second route here, and uh, I'm not afraid of doing a big boom either. Okay, let's go for the gold, adding two, three, even four talent centers if needed. The AW2 player in me does not mind the economy, the macro side of it. And I did notice actually that a lot of the Starcraft players. Um, they're not as intense with the eco, but uh, they have really good builds and really good timings on uh, on where they can attack people. But for A V G players, I realize a lot of it is about uh, economy um, for us. That's kind of our, our strength from the game we play. All right, so four gold. We'll do one more to gold, and then we'll be ready to click up. And then after that, I'm gonna send Vils over to the wood line and to the stone, and that should be quite nice. We're only going to click up with one. Where's my stone? Uh, stone is over here. Okay, let's actually go straight to Woodline now. Um, let's do that. Get a house and then get a lumber camp. And then these guys, after they're done uh, on uh, gold, they're going to go over to the to the Woodline. So I'm not too worried about adding too much more there. Let's bring the sheep back. Alright, and I'm going to simply go over to the uh, gold now. Uh, sorry, the, the stone. Uh, I think I'm a little early to the stone though, because I'm not going to be able to afford. So I'm going to go for the School of Cavalry here. And I'm going to only build it with one. And I'm not going to be able to afford a, a mining camp, which is, I think, the big problem here. I was a little bit uh, late to the wood line. I don't often do this build, so yeah, yeah that's, that's a big issue. They're, they're already running back, which is not, uh, not what I had in mind. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit inefficient for sure, <laughs> to say the least, but uh, it is what it is. Let's continue scouting now, looking for a little bit more sheep. And I'm not going to let this guy run all the way back. I think we'll be ready to make a lumber camp, mining camp, very soon. Uh, there it is, and there it is. So awesome. I'm going to take one guy off food, send him straight there as well. And like I said, the plan is just going to be the 2DC boom here. We're going to just build this with one villager. Because if you build it with one villager, basically what that does is that, it, well, it just in general in Age of Empires 4 and Age of Empires 2, uh, if you build a building with like four or five vills, you're not building it five times faster or four times faster. There's diminishing returns on how fast uh, it's being built based on how many vills you have. So, um, you know, in general, if you want, you want to build buildings with the least amount of villagers, I might add a second one if I feel like I, I would need to. But for now, I feel like six on stone should be good enough for a town center. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think six on stone should be enough for a town center here. Now I just need to have enough wood to make sure I have uh, the town center ready. And I might keep a couple on stone even after I make the TC. My TC will be built on the deer here. Generally a, a pretty good resource to build it on. I'm going to put a second one onto this... Uh, Landmark now, because I want to speed up the process a little bit. Cool. And I have a couple sheep here, which is definitely nice. Let's continue scouting my opponent's base and see what he's up to now. Um, I think it's generally... Ooh, was I there? I think it's generally a good timing to do that now. Like, all the sheep are like kind of out of the map. And yeah, it looks like he's actually uh, walling. This villager is weak, though, but it has 12 attack. Is that a bonus to the Delhi Sultanate? 
I'm not really sure. I'll try to kill that one off though. Let's see if I can kill it here. Uh, probably not. Realistically. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't block in this game, it's very hard to actually kill uh, kill units or kill bills with the scout. Uh, she's got a barracks. He's already walling this side, so like I said, I'm, I'm not really worried about uh, about putting any pressure. You know, let, let him wall. I'm, I'm going to just boom it out, and I'll, I'll be ready for the mid and late game here. Alright, I'll be up in just a second myself. And my first step is going to be to get a TC. I'm actually going to get a TC on the berries, by the way. The hunt is nice, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it'd be much better to take the bills off the stone. And I'll just leave the one, and he'll get me enough for another town center eventually. There we go. TC's down. And I just feel like this is the right way to do it. I'll keep one villa on the gold as well. And that's just to be able to make a few cavalry units if needed. But it does feel like he's going to play a defensive approach here. He's got the religious landmark. And he's got the mosque back there, I believe, as well. Alright, taking some damage. And yeah, it doesn't feel like he's doing too much aggression. He's got just the barracks. Let's see it uh, on the sides. If he's, yeah, he's walled the sides as well. So, uh, as you can clearly see here, it's going to be more of a slow-paced game. Uh, which is, like I said, uh, pretty good for the opening I chose here. Like, uh, booming is definitely the right call uh, when it comes to these slow-paced games. There's no regrets. Uh, Alright, so let's go with a house there and then send another build to stone. We're going to go for even three town centers. And then this is a big wall. Well, we will easily be able to to break in like in, in mid game, um, and walling is not like as strong as AB2 where they can easily just rewall in a in a heartbeat. It takes at least now since the game isn't as figured out, it takes a while to rewall. It's not it's not a simple task. So yeah, it's uh it's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like his scout has more HP, so I'm definitely not gonna fight. I'm gonna just run it all the way back. Yep. Awesome. So don't have to worry about the scout for a while. And we can pretty much just chill here for a second. I'll be getting my next uh, my next uh, town center in a sec as well. And as far as eco upgrades go, I think um, I think wood upgrade makes sense maybe. Uh, also farm upgrade once I get a mill would be pretty good. Speaking of which, let's get a mill onto the berries. I'm not gonna mill uh, the deer because I want to TC them. That's gonna be my next step. Berries are actually I think the slowest source of uh, food so. In general, you don't want too many of those, but at, you know, at the end of the day, it's still free food, so we'll take it. Um, yeah, just missing gold for that to be viable, so let's get more bills on gold now. And the reason I upgraded with um, the School of Cavalry is just to have a military production building in case he does rush me with, with something. I didn't want to go for the other thing, because the other thing is not very not very good in my opinion. Um, I could be wrong on that, and it could be like, like pretty solid, but... Like it basically just heals your units. Uh, sorry, it's a it's a market. Like it's just a it's just a market basically. It doesn't really do much else, as far as I know. Um, I think the healing units is something else, a different sieve. Okay, it looks like he's fully walled. He's getting another town center. So I can't actually leave here, by the way. I legit can't even leave. Hardened spearmen. So you actually upgrade into the hardened attack, which is, um. I think it's kind of like an overreaction, no? Could be wrong, but it feels a little bit overreaction. Alright, I'm gonna pick up my eco attacks. Um, might as well if I'm booming, right? Eco attacks are not as important in this game as they are in AB2. Um, but still quite important, especially the food ones. Yeah, increased village gathering for food, that's pretty, pretty useful. I think it's just like what they cost is weird. The cost in gold is a bit weird. It's unintuitive for like a boom. Have a lot of gold. And nonetheless, we'll mine it here. Yeah, I can never win the fight, so I'm just gonna continue running around. Alright, awesome. Uh, Townsend on the deer. We we'll pick up the horticulture like I wanted to. And yeah, awesome. So, just me mining some more gold, more foods. And you really don't wanna. Um, Make any farms if you can help it. You want to delay the farms as much as possible. This is like probably the best tip you can get, I believe. Uh, just delaying the farms as much as possible. It's really, really strong to do. So I'm going to just go for a fourth town center here. I mean, I don't see a good reason why not to. The, if the goal is just to boom it out, then it just makes sense to go for yet another town center. And I'm going to go with uh, way out here. I'm going to go for a town center on the gold, uh, just way at the front. 
Yeah, that's gonna be where I'm gonna attack. That's gonna be where my base is. So it's good to have villagers around there as well. Think of it like forward TC in, in um in AoE two. You know, it's uh, it's good in certain cases because you get like the the villas forward and right in your opponent's face. So let's do that. And a few villas here. And that is walled, yeah. Uh, that is walled, yeah. Cool. Let's just run back, and we're just gonna run laps, pretty much. Uh, that is the next landmark. No, it's a blacksmith. Cool. He's actually hit three blacksmiths. I'm gonna ask why. Blacksmith. Is it like something with the sip or or what? Like that can't be a misclick. He has three. Free real estate. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if the Delhi get a bonus there. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll get a TC here, and that's gonna be on the gold. And I'm gonna be ready to spam some units here in, in the in the sack. Uh, four weeks at a time. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it feels excessive for me, but if that's the style. Sure. I wonder if the Delhi gets some uh, bonus for that. Cause that is that's, that's a pretty big investment. I mean, they're I'll get one myself. They're um, 150 wood. You know, it's not cheap. All right, I think now we can start making some farms as well. Now is a good time to start farming. But again, like I said, don't don't farm before you absolutely need to. Like, really make use of the the food on the on the land. It's it's really good to do so. He's just gonna continue getting hit, and we're gonna go for a landmark now, and the guild hall. The guild hall is absolutely the best landmark. Like, I, I think it's the best landmark I've ever played with. Like, out of the sieves that I play. And now I can plan a push here, so, um, as far as what to push with, he's actually getting the House of Learning, the landmark himself. Is that a military landmark or what? Let's take a look. Not me not knowing the other steps is going to hurt me here. It's a technology landmark. Maybe that's why he has the blacksmiths. Interesting. Uh, you guys will definitely correct me in the comment section, I have no doubt. Um, let's get that. And I think I want to just push him. Do I go cavalry or what? That's the question. I can go for men at arms. He's got only spearmen. That can be a really, really interesting approach. Let's try that actually. I want to try like mixing it up here because I, I know the cavalry push could be strong, but it also kind of dies to spears. So I want to try like uh, three barracks. You know what I mean? Like no one really expects that. Uh, just a men at arm push. I want to see how strong that is. I'll go men at arms and siege. Uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. Let's get more onto wood here. Uh, that's a mining camp. Lumber camp, just redo that one. And these guys will make me a mill on the berries as well. That's cool. And I want to get a market now as well. Alright, so Man at Arms. Uh, he does have a scholar here. I'm gonna get. Uh, I wanna get a knight, though. So I wanna actually show him that I'm. that I have knights out, if that makes sense. Alright, cool. Okay, let's get some more bills here. And I have the guild hall set to food, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna use the market to balance out my eco because I've got way too much on uh, gold. And I think he wants to pick up. Let's go with the knight. I think he wants to pick up a lot of relics with that with that monk, so I'm not gonna let him do that. Alright, let's go for some men at arms now. And as far as the. Uh, yeah, just pick up the armor on those guys as well. Wood. Take that. Cool. And where can he be? I did lose my scout eventually, by the way. Hmm. I wonder where that scholar went. Not really sure. As long as he doesn't scout my men at arms, I'm fine with that, though. And I can go with... CJ engineers, so they go for rams, maybe? Yeah, maybe that could be really good. Just a ram, ram and arm push can be like insanely strong. I do think other siege workshop units are pretty good too. So I'm gonna make a siege shop as well. I was a, quite a big fan of some of the siege workshop units in this game. 
Really just trying to boom it up. Even gonna get another barracks. Like I, I'm really committed to this rush at this point. Um, I'm getting siege engineers and I'm getting that upgrade. I didn't find that scholar, which is interesting. I don't think he knows I have this castle to push it up. I will need some more, like a lot of wood now. Yeah. Where did his scholar go? Okay, I got my men arm set up, which is awesome, and they're gonna have the rams very soon as well. I'm gonna buy a lot of wood once the time is right, and I do have the market, so that's definitely fine. Okay. And I'll pick up this as well, so let's go for some rams now. Could go for siege towers, but I want to push with rams. And I got rams and men at arms now, let's see how that plays out. Okay, get some villagers onto the town center. Building a few rams. And I hope to catch him off guard here. I hope that he's thinking I might just go only spears. Uh, sorry, I th I'm hoping he was going to go only spears, expecting me to go cavalry, and I surprise him with a bunch of things. Now I'm gonna stop making vills now. I'm almost going to pop. So I, I really have to go at this point. Alright, five rams. I mean, that should be good enough. Let's go push. I wonder if he sees me, actually. That would be kind of awkward if he just sees me the whole time. Um, get this. Just armor. Alright, and I want to see how strong these guys are. I didn't really play, play with them too much, so. Definitely curious. I'll get a tread, maybe. Actually, hmm. Not a trap. I want to get a couple of spring gulfs in case he's got mangonels. I think that's probably the danger. Okay, this is a push and a half coming in. He's got some random things here. I'm going to scout with a knight. He's got crossbowmen. Oh, crossbowmen are a pretty heavy armor. That is very good. So, you know what we actually have to do is get some mangonels out, in theory. Uh, no, no spring gulfs and mangonels. We can just try to brute force our way in though at the same time. We got a couple elephants to tank. Make sure I get past the elephants here. Wait, what? He converted? Wait, what? Wait, what? He just converted all my units. Wait, what? How? Relic convert? Okay. What? That is insane. Okay. That's insane. Well, that was something. <laughs> that was actually insane. I don't think I've ever had like a, a 360 emotions that I pushed before. And I was just thinking like, okay, can I push or not? But okay, we'll just do a keep now. I have my guild hall, I'll just pick that up and I'll try to go up to the next stage now. He's kinda, he's gonna come push me pretty hard now, I think, so. I gotta be quite ready. Um, I would go for a lot of siege then, if that's gonna be the case. I mean, I'll still commit to men at arms, I guess. Uh, let's go for a red pallet. Mm, actually, I'm gonna go for college art artillery. Do I just commit some men at arms? I think we do. It's not bad. Although I could switch to some horsemen actually to help with the crossbows. Let's do that. Let's do a let's do a switch to the uh 
Let's just switch to the horseman. He's got a couple of trebs now, that's fine. I'll make a spring golf or two then to defend. Uh, veteran horseman. Yeah, that's all I need right now. So I'm gonna go horseman, that should be pretty good. I mean, I could go royal knights, but I'm just, I don't wanna die to crossbows. Um, I got all the eco upgrades here. I'll put a couple of bills to repair. Bills on repair duty here. Yeah, I gotta just uh, just poke him out a little bit. So I gotta really be careful. Those guys are those guys are insane. Those elephants are really strong. This is turning into quite the game here. Alright, and from my experience, like you immediately, he's up to the next 8 as well. Trebs. I'm using a lot of upgrades and I know that. Uh, I'll also pick up a university. I, I don't want any, like, not that much wood, right? I think I'm getting converted again, in fact. That's so cancer. But what is that even? Is that some cannons now? What even is that conversion shit? Uh, okay, now they're like guy units though. It's weird. Just converting them again. That scholar is just like my nemesis, bro. He can convert them again from Gaia. That cannon's insane. I need to get a couple spring galts out. Or a couple cannons myself, actually. Uh, yeah, I got a couple cannons myself. Oh, I can get them from here, actually. Yeah, cannon. Okay. Wait to elite. I feel like I'm very slow. I'll wait to elite mana arms, I guess. I don't know what the mana arms are really useful for, but it's also Stonewall this side, honestly. No, no, no. Wrong one. Ah, oh, he Stonewalled himself. Yeah, very slow with doing a lot of things here. Get some more cannons out. Okay, I'm still getting trebs. Yeah, I got a few cannons coming out here. Uh, university, university, university. Alright, so I want to get Royal Bloodlines, Health of Cavalry, um, Gunpowder Units. And melee. I'm going with men at arms and horsemen. I mean, that's usually quite a bad comp. I'll actually delete these guys. It's a lumber camp. It's a mining camp. I just I have all the gold, so I'm not actually somehow I'm not worried about. It. Okay, can we? Yeah, the, the monk is down, eh? 
Alright, I'm gonna upgrade the cooking and I'm just gonna go for it now. My pop cap is reached. I think I should have a pretty good amount of units here. The horseman will be pretty solid, I imagine, as a unit. They're a good counter to the crossbows. I can go for the royal cab afterwards. And let's actually just get more stables. I mean, it's <laughs> if it's anything like AB2, Hisara is just like, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good unit, you know what I mean? Alright, let's do it. Um, these guys... I mean, <clears throat> I, I can't lose this, right? Like, I just have, I have way too much pressure. I can definitely not lose this. Okay, cannons will just go hit the back. I just, I can't believe how strong his abilities were. Like, like this guy needs to die, bro. Like, uh, that's insane. He can just convert all my units. That is like insanely strong. Kill the cannon in the back, maybe? Yeah, taking out his cannons now. Okay. And yeah, just continue spamming. Should be good. I, I, I don't see him ever holding this. I'm gonna go straight for his town center. These guys are like frozen in time. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any upgrades here. <clears throat> I think chemistry is pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm using, using some cannons, so why not? Uh, I think he played a really good game. Um, I think he, his biggest mistake was probably just letting me get the center so freely, you know? Maybe a little bit too passive. But he had like some really cool things with the conversions. I want to get a castle here. And the reason is, in case he starts pressuring me from there, I want to be ready for the castle. And I'm not sure if I can pass over here. I don't think so, right? No, you can't. Okay, cool. Right, I'm just destroying everything here. Cool. And yeah, pretty good. And uh, I have the guild hall with like 1200 gold as well, which is pretty insane. Um, increase the health of all buildings. Why not? Rams and traps. I don't really need that. I don't need really need that either. But I guess I'll get it just in case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he should be dead now. <laughs> what a what a game though. I think my favorite part was me getting converted and not really knowing what was happening. I had to ask a lot of questions there. Shout out to the opponent for um, answering all my questions though. He could have easily just left me in the dark. It's good for me to learn the sibs though, I think. It's the biggest lesson learned here. I could switch to the Royal Cav now, actually. Let's, let's maybe do that. I'll start getting all the attacks for that. Um. Oh my god, these cannons are insanely strong. And military range, barracks. Where's his landmarks? I'm gonna snipe his landmarks, ideally. Stable. House of Learning, it's actually down. Go we'll kill that. Is that his capital TC or is it this one? Yeah, this is the town center, and this one should be down here. If I just kill this, I think he loses, right? He has one more landmark that I'm not aware of. Palace of the Sultan, aha, there, I have to go kill that. I think that's his last landmark. But anyway, so he's completely dead anyway. Oh, he surrendered, GG. Alright, um, well, that was a nice game. And uh, I think that it just shows that learning the civs would help a lot because you don't get your army mass converted when you're doing a push in castle age. Uh, but yeah, very cool stuff. Let's take a look at the stats here. Obviously, a YouTube only cast. Oh wow, the score is crazy. He had negative one fourteen for the military. What what happened? What the hell? That's so crazy. Okay, well, it was a good game on our end. We definitely controlled the middle. Um, some glitch in the system when I ran and got my army converted, but lesson learned there. And yeah, the boom paid off. A2 skills coming in handy there. Thanks for watching YouTube. Hope you had a good day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.